This X-Wing model doesn't only look like the one from the movies, it flies like it too. And this with over 200 kilometers an hour. I might have even created a whole new category of long range FPV drones with this project. And in this video, I will show you how I build it. And in the end, we'll travel to the planet of Naboo, where we'll be flying this thing through the legendary scenery. The spaceships from Star Wars have fascinated me since I was a child and I always wanted one that could really fly like the ones in the movies. The problem, the shape of an X-Wing doesn't really fly particularly well as a few YouTubers before me have already discovered. But I think I found a way to make the concept work and not just a little but really really good. Some time ago Red Bull built a drone that looks a bit like a rocket and flies like one too. That gave me the idea to use a similar concept for this project. At first I wanted to place the engines in exactly the same position as they are at the rear X-Wing. But if I wanted them to look good, the engines were much too small and didn't have enough power. And if I made them big enough so they have enough power, this whole concept just didn't look right anymore. That's when I decided to place the motors at the wingtips and not use impellers but just regular drone motors instead. I then printed out the entire design and assembled it in a short build montage. For this version I had to solder a lot of cables and because I had the idea to thread the cables through the carbon fiber frame and then solder it to the EC, this thing was a real pain in the ass. But there would be a chance to redesign it completely. Oh yeah. This is me talking in German about the ultra bad vibrations I got while first starting up the quad. Um, at this moment I did not know uh, while this was happening, but uh, as you can hear, um, it does not sound good. This vibration problem has a very specific cause and it's because the frame is not stiff enough. And we know it's a problem when it's not stiff enough. But their solution, and the solution is called Vi, not Viagra, but PID controls. With these controls, I can adjust how fast the flight controller will react to um, movements of the frame, and when I dampen them more, then the vibrations should get better in theory. After changing the values, I tried again starting up the quad and prayed to the gods of beta flight that it will work now. Okay. As you can hear, uh, there were still vibrations there, but they were a bit better than the first time. I was told that the stiffness of the frame is affected highly by the orientation of the fibers in the covered fiber and in my case they are not straight but like cut um, on an angle and this is not optimal so I had to crank down the PD, PID values even more. This is me celebrating your success in German, of course, and after that I was ready for a first test outside. The first flight was a complete success. The X-Wing was easy to control and already reached a decent speed. However, it still flew extremely unstable and uneven because I had to turn the pit controllers so far down. 
I definitely need to optimize this before I can do a proper speed run. To improve the flight stability of the X-Wing, we first have to understand why this thing even flies. The secret lies in the flight controller, which is normally used in FPV drones. This thing supports multiple flight modes. The first flight mode is the flight mode you know from regular consumer drones. When you put the stick to the left, the drone flies to the left. When you let go of the stick, the drone holds the position and so on. But this would not be much help for this drone because then it only could fly like this, which would be pretty boring. But the second mode of the flight controller is much more interesting because it no longer holds the position, but it holds the orientation of the drone. That means if you put the stick to the left, the drone flies to the left, but if you let go of the stick, the drone keeps flying to the left and um, so far and so on. And you can put it to the extreme, so you tilt the drone to 90 degrees to the left, so it flies now like a airplane and keeps its orientation. And the flight controller does not care if there's like a body and wings attached to it, but they both generate lift. And even though the shape is not perfect, it's enough to keep the X-Wing afloat. You can feel the same phenomenon when you put out your hand out of a car window while driving. Even at speeds of 50 km an hour, your hand gets pushed up quite a lot and the X-Wing is getting going a lot faster. But enough of the theory, let's make this thing look nice and then push it to 200 kilometers an hour. For this I'm using my new Bamboo Lab printer which has an integrated plotter for stickers. If you want to check it out yourself, just click the link in the video description or scan the QR code here. I designed a camera tilt mechanism which helps me start and land the drone. It just tilts the camera 90 degrees to the front so I can see where I am uh, while starting the drone. Um, I also designed a nice little battery compartment with a 3D printed latch and a 3D printed spring so I can put the battery inside of the X-Wing and then just spring the latch into place. Uh, the EC, I put that one on top uh, where normally our 2 d 2 sits uh, so it gets cooled by the airflow and also included a GPS unit so I know how fast I'm going and the flight controller is stored in the back so it's nice and safe. But now enough of the theory, let's go to the field for the speed run. Well, 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 in this shot I'm a very sad German boy and I explained in German that I was flying totally normal. Um, then I tilted the quad up, it started vibrating like crazy and then it fell out of the sky like... Luckily the flight controller was still intact, which meant I could access the black box logs. Modern flight controllers have a little memory that stores all the flight data like a black box in a real airplane. This is practical so you know after a crash why it happened. In my case because the vibrations in the frame got so bad that the FC shut itself down. Um, the same vibrations we had at the beginning while starting up the drone. I did not let this discourage me because I wanted to build a new version either way and I wanted to do another version which is fully 3D printed. Okay so now I put this thing back together we will see if it's still flies and uh, the clue is I um, mounted it on the 3D printed frame which is meant, made from PLA plastic. I don't know if this thing will even work or if it will vibrate itself to death basically. The indoor hover test was real promising, so I went outside for a proper test flight. Let's go boys! Even though the video looks quite good, the drone was shaking like crazy and even was accelerating upwards while I wasn't giving any throttle, so I had to abort the test flight 
but I had some new filament coming which was carbon fiber reinforced and I wanted to print the frame out of this one again. The next day I did exactly this and I built the 3D printed one um, out of black filament so it looks like an Imperial fighter jet and I also built another white one with um, single carbon fiber arms with the correct orientation of the fibers so it should be more stiff but while I powered up the first one I made a fatal mistake. I wired the ESC and the flight controller wrong so it shorted the battery while I plugged it in uh, which completely fried the flight controller and uh, that made me a bit sad because um, it was the second flight, flight controller I fried. Um, the first one I fried off camera and I was actually a bit downed by this um, because I had only one um, X-Wing left uh, to the journey to the Lake Como and I was not sure if uh, it would perform because it was never test flown and I had to leave the next day. In the morning I went out to the field with the last copter and I tested first the automatic return to home because it's quite important when going over the water and it worked flawlessly. It was a bit shaky but the quad came back and after that I flew and the quad flew amazing so I was confident enough to do some speed runs. Let's go! Let's go! Es funktioniert! Und hier sind ein bisschen im Graben gelandet, aber, äh, weil der Akku leer war und ich mich gerade noch so nach Hause kämpfen musste. Aber er ist heile und GPS Rescue funktioniert, er kommt nach Hause und Speed hat er auch. Dann kannst du ja zum Koma See gehen. I don't like sand. We now landed on the legendary planet of Naboo, or how not Star Wars fans would call it, the Lake of Como. And now I'm going to rip the drone from this side to this side with insane speeds. Let's go. You can find all files to 3D print um, the X-Wing yourself in the video description together with affiliate links to all the parts. I really appreciate it if you use these links because I finance all my projects through that right now. So thanks for watching. Bye.